Concordia facing Winona State for the second time in a week as they continue a weekend at home, looking to stay unbeaten on the season after a win over Upper Iowa the night before. And Winona State among the top teams in the league. Concordia uh, getting off to a pretty good start in the first set. An early block as Michelle Graham, Kayla Kennecke combined. Concordia would have five blocks in the first set. Winona State did get a kill as the teams traded points early on. And then on the outside, Kathy Lope able to go cross court as Winona State had a lead very early in that first set. But an easy tap down for Katie Haybeck. Concordia would start to string some points together. On the outside, Arian Lowersdorf into the starting lineup, getting a powerful kill. And then Cassie Weaver with a nice serve. And Concordia would be in position to get another one of those blocks in that opening set. Winona State setting it up on the outside. But again, Michelle Graham in on a block. And then Megan Carlson with the effective serve, an ace for her, then one of Concordia's top servers. Golden Bears continuing to extend their lead, getting a solo block from Graham in the middle. That was certainly the theme of the first set free ball for Lowersdorf. She would take advantage as Concordia continued to build that first set lead. And then Megan Carlson from the middle powering it home as Concordia would get some more points late. Kayla Kennecke blasting one home from the center as well. Concordia attacking from everywhere on the floor. Double block from Graham and Kennecke. Concordia would win the first set 25-14. Kayla Kennecke an early kill in game number two. As this one was very competitive though, going back and forth, Kate Horahan would answer back for Winona State. Arian Lowersdorf getting blocked. Winona State really picked up their defense at the net in game number two. Multiple ties and lead changes. Warriors would build a lead toward the middle. Kill there for Winona State. And then getting another one out of the reach of Arian Lowersdorf as they made Concordia work in that second set. Megan Carlson able to bounce back with a big block as the teams traded the lead late. Carlson getting the kill there as well. Both teams would get a few shots at set point in game number two. Kayla Kennecke with the kill there for Concordia. And then Megan Carlson again on the outside. Cassie Weaver did some effective serving, sent that one over, but a kill for Winona State on the outside. Carlson would jump in, get a strong one there to give Concordia the lead late in that second set. And then on the outside, Winona State answering right back. It was set point for the Warriors at 26-25, but Katie Abeck able to get a big kill for Concordia and tie it back up. And then a solo block from Megan Carlson finishing off game two. Concordia would take it 28-26. They used that momentum early in the third game. Kayla Kennecke getting one of her team high kills. She had 16 on the night. Kill for Winona State to answer back and then getting a free ball tapping at home. That was Rachel Poland for the Warriors. Great dig there by Taylor Feldstead that set up a kill for Katie Haybeck as Concordia would continue to extend their lead in that third set. Haybeck stepping outside, perfect form on that kill. The Concordia freshman would pile up a few in that third set. Got blocked that time, though, trying to step across. Able to power one through. She kept going to that move. It was usually pretty successful for her. As she got the kill, and Concordia takes the third set, 25-14. to 14. They win the match in three. Golden Bears still undefeated on the year. They beat Winona State for the second time in a week.